Hi, I'm Neil of Teen Teacher, teaching, living and raising a family in China. In this video, we're looking at a pet's PowerPoint lesson. Let's check it out. As always, I start my classes with the rules. We go over the rules and advise the students if they follow the rules, we'll get a reward at the end of the class. So this particular class is about pets and it's aimed at the lower grades of primary and elementary schools in China. So first I'll ask them if they have any pets, if they know any pet names and stuff like that. And then we're going to go through and drill the names of different pets. And um, I'm going to ask them some questions. Do they have a cat? Uh, what is their cat's name? Uh, what color is, is a dog, etc. What can they do? Try and get as much language uh, from them uh, as I can. And uh, then we'll, we'll move on. We'll also do a lot of TPR. So for rabbit, you know, we'll make rabbit ears along with drilling the word. So we try and make it fun and we try and make it interesting. And then I'm going to ask them the broad open question. What pet do you have? And I give, I give them the structure. I have a so they can tell me I have a cat, I have a mouse, I have a fish. It's up to them. And then we're going to sing a song where we uh, get them moving around, doing a bit of a dance and singing, break up the class. And then from there, we're going to go back to a story. Uh, this story is about a little cat and a little mouse. And they're not generally uh, aware of the word little. Uh, so um, I just say that it equates to small. Little small is just the same, more or less. Uh, so we read all this together. <coughs> and it's a fun little story and it gets them engaged. And then we're going to a, uh, a game where we're testing their knowledge of the pets. So this one, they have to try and guess what the pet is. What can they see? So it's a fun little game, uh, it gets them thinking. And then we're going to go into uh, this other game here where it's like it's a similar thing to the game we've just played, except it's a video where it progressively removes tiles to see what the animal is. Um, but it's a fun little way to break up the class. And then we're going back into a game where it's a description game. So, for example, here it says my pet is lost, it swims very well, it's thin, what is it? It's a fish. And I have a whole bunch of these where it's a description and they have to work out from these uh, descriptions what the animal is, what the pet is. Then we sing another song, get them uh, up and dancing again. And then we're going to play a pet guessing game. So I'll have, I'll do a couple of examples. Its tail is long, its mouth is small, its eyes are small, its ears are big, it's white. Uh, and they have to tell me what it is. It's a mouse. Uh, so we can do this game. or we can do uh, the grid game where they have to uh, tell me how many rabbits, how many fish, or how many uh, mice there are. And this one uh, I sometimes do if I want to introduce the different variations with the plural. So mouse to mice, fish, fish is the same, rabbit, rabbits. Or we can do the trades game where I have them act out an animal and they have to guess what the the animal is so we can do that with students sometimes i do a combination of all of these three sometimes i only do uh, one or two it really just depends on how much time i've got left in the class how the class are doing with the lesson uh, and before mixing it up. So it, it's up to you how you want to kind of approach the, the end part of the class. 
Well, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel and check out the link below to download the lesson. Bye-bye.